Hey everybody, how you doing? Okay, as always, I'm going to give this thing a second to get going and go live. Okay, if you don't know me uh, by now, my name is Bella Donna Rizzo. I'm a real estate broker out here in Salt Lake City, and I also help real estate agents grow their business and get leads using social media, but often not how you might think. So really quick, before we get started, if you have any questions at all, or if you're interested in any of this stuff, you're welcome to hop on over to my page, agentleadacademy.com. I usually put a link in here and I totally spaced it today. So hopefully you guys can spell that on your own. So let's get into today's uh, topic which is why I am going to go back on some of my earlier advice, which is proof that you learn something new every day. And that is the reason why you don't ever, never, ever want to use Facebook's native captioning tool for your videos. Now, I have to admit, I I used to be a fan of this tool, right? Because it's like super easy and it's right there. You put your video in, Facebook and it gives you the option to put captions and it actually works really good. Like I was stoked when they came out with this because if there's one less goddamn thing that I have to do, <laughs> right? One less system to buy, one less thing to learn, I'm a happier person. Uh, so I thought it was really cool. It made captioning videos super freaking easy and it was free and it was like, hello, it was idiot proof. It's it. So, so what's the deal? So why would I now go tell you never, ever, 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 never <laughs> use this free and easy tool? And the answer is, as of right now, um, when you have a video uh, and it has no captions, Facebook's kind of like, eh, we don't know what the hell they're talking about. The algorithm isn't screening your content, okay? They do take a look at your thumbnail, if I could speak today. Um, they do take a look at your thumbnail image, right? And make sure that that's acceptable. But for the most part, they don't have a clue what you're talking about on that video. If you use some other way to caption your video. So maybe you have iMovie and you figure out how to use iMovie to throw captions on there. Or um, I just found out there's a great service named Rev.com, R-E-V, Rev.com. You guys, I'm not an affiliate. I don't make any money for pitching them. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to send them my very first video to do this for me. Hey, Carmela, how are you? So, oh, and Carmela, I will get you that link to that app. I saw that. It was just, um, I met said it to you yesterday and oh, I forgot. Um, but uh, there is a company called Rev.com that you send them your video, right? You can send them just about any kind of video file format, or you can just send them the URL if your videos are housed on Vimeo or YouTube. And for a buck a minute, they will perfectly transcribe and add captions to your video for you. So a dollar a minute. And um, the, the beauty of doing it that way, using iMovie or whatever software you've got, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to save a little bucks, or something like Rev.com, Facebook still can't see the content of your video. So at this point in time, the algorithm is not reading those captions either. Now, that's not to say that it won't sometime in the future, but for now, it doesn't. However, if you use the free native captioning tool that Facebook provides, guess what happens? You have now provided complete text to your video to Facebook in the format which the algorithm can read, can read. And I literally just got off the phone um, with one of my uh, vendors slash clients who claims that they had a video that they use the Facebook native captioning for. And it's about diet. She was saying how you should eat blackberries because blackberries are really good for you. And it took her three months get this, three months to get that video approved. Facebook was ruthlessly rejecting her video. And 
it was <gasps> for racism. Yeah. Because I don't know, maybe she should have gone with blueberries <laughs> or something, but it, the, the, the algorithm just got confused. Now, had she not used the captioning native to Facebook, her video would have been through lickety split. So, uh, from now on, guys, no simple, free, and easy Facebook captioning. It's not your friend. And even if you're thinking, yeah, but Belladonna, seriously, my videos are squeaky clean. Um, I don't ever say anything on there that could run afoul of Facebook policies and all that good stuff, and there's no reason why I should worry about this. I'm just saying she, the woman was talking about fruit. Okay, that's it, just fruit. <laughs> and it took her three months to get her video approved for her company. Uh, and I will say likewise, I have had the same experience with Facebook, the Facebook algorithm, not with videos, but um, guys, come on, 90% of the crap I run is for real estate. I've had my videos denied, my real estate ads denied for nudity. Um, and I promise you that, it, the houses were fully dressed. I didn't show a single naked house, <laughs> right, in any of my ads. So the algorithm is imperfect at times. And there are things that we want to talk about on these videos, sometimes that Facebook may or may not want us to talk about, right? So for your own sake, from here on out, don't use the native captioning tool in there anymore. Again, you can caption your videos in iMovie. I will tell you the only downside I've seen is uh, the free version of iMovie on the Mac used to be badass. It was super robust at all this good stuff. The new version, Mac, shame on you. Shame on you because the new version of iMovie, in my opinion, sucketh. And I've noticed it it massively bloats my video file. I'm like, what the hell sneaky code are you putting in my video that I don't know about? Why did you make it so my file so much bigger? So if you, and I personally think it's because they're just trying to get you to buy whatever the paid version of iMovie is, iMovie Pro Cut 17 or whatever the hell. So um, you can do it yourself or if you're seriously like, I don't wanna go to rev.com and they'll do it for a buck a minute and they get their turn times are pretty fast. Same day to 24 hours to get your videos back. And again, if you're thinking, ah, oh, Bella, I can't afford to put captions on every single video, like pay somebody to do it. Don't worry, you don't need to. And hey, Aaron. So the good news uh, is that's why I'm telling you guys to do your Facebook Lives every single day uh, because you're not going to put captions on every single one of your videos. What you're going to do is, one, you're going to use your Facebook Live to get out there. You're going to let the, the Facebook algorithm push your videos out to a much larger audience. And just to recap on that, um, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself over and over again. It does not matter how many followers are on your business page. It doesn't matter how many fans you have. You can have zero, not a zilcho. And if it is a Facebook Live from your business page, and guys and gals, it must be from your business page, okay? They, the algorithm will push those videos out to a much, much, much larger audience. So um, don't worry about that piece. And once you've got those videos going out there for free, right? You're not paying. We're doing straight free organic stuff. We're letting the algorithm do its thing. We're letting our audience self-identify because the people that are actually watching the videos are the ones that we are now going to start sending some paid content to, right? So this class is a twofer. Um, a little bit on how you can leverage Facebook Live and a little bit on why you're not going to caption your videos using Facebook's native tool. So once you have identified the videos that are doing really well for whatever reason, right, you're going to take those videos only. You're going to put captions on them. You might edit them up a little bit, right? You might splice them up so they're a little more concise or whatever have a little more slick intro than the normal, you know, guys, my normal Facebook intro is live intros like, 
hey, can you all hear me? <laughs> you know, so um, there you, and you're going to take those best performing videos of all your free content that you're pushing out there. That's the one that you're going to caption. And again, you can do it yourself or you can send it off to one of these captioning companies. And again, Rev.com, I haven't even tried it myself, guys. So if it sucks, don't blame me. Okay, I'm sending them my first video this week. And no, I don't get paid for recommending them. I never heard of them until today. Um, but they'll do it for you for a buck a minute. Like, seriously, if it saves me two hours of ripping my freaking hair out trying to figure it out, I'll pay 15 bucks to get captions put on a video, right? So then you take that video, the one that's performed well, get it captioned up, and then that's the one you're going to turn into some of your paid content. And who are you going to send it to, you ask? Why, I'm so glad you guys asked me that. You are going to send it to all the people that have been watching your videos. You're going to create some audiences out of the your viewers now that have self-identified because they've been watching your stuff for a while. And then you're going to start sending them some of of these cool little truncated ones with a good little cool call to offer in there, as well as using them to send out to your targeted traditional uh, lists that you would send out to for any of your ads. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't want you using that tool anymore. And it made me a little sad because I like that tool. I liked it a lot. I'm never using it again because Facebook gives me a hard enough time with my freaking still ads, right? That I'm trying to get approved. No, you swear. No. And I didn't swear in my ads. I swear in my lives, but I never, ever swear in my ads. I've been rejected for nudity. I've been rejected for, um, uh, profanity. I've been rejected for guns. What was a really funny one they rejected me on? I was like, dude, where do you come up with this shit? Um, but, and frankly, between you and me, I don't need those hassles trying to get my video ads published, right? So don't give them any more ammunition to use against you because half the time that algorithm, it's not right. It just, it hears things and it, it doesn't get it. They're not quite there yet with the AI. That's all I'm saying. So if you ladies are on here, have any questions, feel free to fire away. Otherwise, if you have questions about this wicked, badass app, um, you know what? I'm, mm -mm -mm. I wonder, hang with me for just a second, ladies. It is a Chrome extension. And it got published at um, Funnel Hacker Live in Nashville, right? The big Click Funnels convention that just went out. And a friend of mine that went shot me the link. And right now it's totally free and it's wicked. It is called Go Fill Your Funnel. Okay, I'm going to write that in here. Go, let me, I'm going to click on it one more time. Bear with me. Go Fill your funnel and if you type that into uh go into google, the google chrome extensions store and put that in it's a free extension and then the minute you're on a uh when you're going through your facebook news feed this little icon will just start appearing over your ads as you're scrolling through and any ad that you want to keep or save or stock or copy you just click it and it's going to save it for you forever. And you can say it, you can organize them like all nice in files. So for those that don't know, I am the most ruthless stalker you've ever seen in your life. I should have been a cop. That's all I'm saying. But um, you can keep track and, and of things that you think had great content, ads that you'd uh love to graphic or love to add copy or you want to hang on to because you want to go through their funnel. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome free app. And I've already saved like a hundred ads and I, I just got it like the other day. So hopefully that's a cool, fun tip. Again, you guys um, go out there. I encourage you to do a ton of video. Just unfortunately, you're going to have to figure out a different way to caption them 
or um, go check out one of those paid for you services. But at a buck a minute, I think that's about as cheap as it gets, unless maybe you find somebody cheaper on Fiverr. So I hope that was helpful. And I will, oh, one last thing, ladies. I just always need to remember to throw this in here at the end. I should say also, gentlemen, if you find these little tips and things helpful, do a girl a favor, like give me a thumbs up or something. And um, most certainly, if you find any of this interesting, helpful, useful, and you're a realtor, uh, feel free, hop on over to agentleadacademy.com. Check out the stuff I got over there because I'd be happy to help you out some more. I'll talk to you guys soon.